Welcome back to Wildwide Magnetic Perpetual Motion Machine Truth. So called self running magnet motors seem to be able to run forever by tilting a magnet, though the this tilting magnet first attracts the rotating wheel magnet and then the tilting magnet takes itself out of play by just tilting away. Might this really work? Now let's see what we are talking about. There are at minimum two videos which shows us machines like this. Find the links to the videos in the description. The constructors of these videos use a heavy wheel out of wood with four big magnets attached to. Because of the huge mass inertia of the wheel and the usage of well lubricated ball bearings, the wheel turns very long after got a strong push. There is a tiltable magnet on the side, so that the wheel rotates longer than normal. This tiltable magnet is intended to attract the magnet on the wheel until it comes near enough. Now the tiltable magnet is taken out of play by a mechanical mechanism and is tilting against the direction of the wheel magnet. The wheel magnet loses connection, the wheel rotates further and the next magnet on the wheel will be attracted by the tiltable magnet. The idea behind this tilting magnet is the base of the mechanism. The hypothesis is that if the magnet is not removed straight from the attracting magnet but rotated beforehand and then removed, then it needs less power to remove it. First let's look at what happens when the system uses gravity instead of magnetism. As in my other videos, I use this similarity to make invisible magnetism behavior visible. The marble ball simulates a magnetic attraction which is happening if two magnets come together with opposing poles directed towards each other. Using this representation, the first simulation shows the wheel with a small initial rotation power and how it is caught by the tilting magnet without tilting this time. Now notice how the magnet I added to the wheel just for understanding is attracted to the tiltable magnet. Beneath you can see how the gravity representation goes similar. If the initial angular momentum of the wheel is small, the wheel stops at the first magnetic interaction. This example makes visible that the deepening must slow down the rotation speed whenever a magnetic field is left. It is reasonable that the uphill path uses more power than the downhill path brings. In the next simulation we will give the wheel a more powerful push. As you can see the marble ball flies through the deepening. This example shows that the mass inertia of the wheel is able to bring the magnet through the field of the tilting magnet. But even if not really easy to see the uphill path again uses more power than the downhill path brings. Well, the real idea was to tilt the tiltable magnet exactly at the time when the wheel magnet passes by. So let's see what happens then. The blue marble ball enters the magnetic field as expected and in the strongest magnetic attraction place the tiltable magnet is tilted in the opposite direction to release the ball. But as you can see, the slope of the ball strikes the marble ball in the opposite direction. It is not easily seen that the magnetic wall acts like this. But if you think about, the magnetic field is constantly there and the direction of magnetic propulsion or attraction does not change because the magnet is not changed, only the orientation changes. But on one point I admit that the simulation does not show the real behavior. The force of gravity must be aligned directly with the magnetic axis. If the magnet is inclined, gravity must also be inclined. And this has to happen circular. For better simulation, I wrapped the hill and the deepening around the magnet and was curious what the result might look like. Here it is. It is formed a bit like an apple. Notice that wherever the marble ball might be on the surface of the apple field, 
its place must be sloping in the direction to the deepest and nearest place to the red magnetic north pole. Let's try it out. Same example. The wheel rotates after a strong push and the magnetic field catches the marble ball, first without tilting the magnet. If the rotation speed is high enough, the ball can't be held by the magnetic field, goes through the deepening and leaves. Now let's tilt the magnet like done before. And like before the ball is repelled because of the abruptly increasing slope uphill. This hard interruption of the ball's locomotion shows the magnetic resistance if being tilted. The power of being tilted and moved away while being in the center of a magnetic attraction is equal to the power for being moved away without tilting beforehand. Now you are going to say, okay, 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 but what if tilting is in the direction of the ball movement and not against it? Shouldn't the ball then be accelerated? I simulated this scenario as well. This time the gravity simulation is not so simple to understand because the ball is running away from the magnetic center and seems not being braked, possibly accelerated a bit instead. But the distance to the wheel magnet is increasing. The ball goes away and there is much power necessary to lift the ball up to the original distance to the corresponding magnet on the spinning wheel. This lifting is difficult to do, it is indicated by the glow of the ball and it slows the speed of the wheel. For a complete understanding, look at the last two cases below. First, two magnets are pulled apart from each other in a straight line. The power to be invested again is indicated by a glowing of the marble ball. You can see that there is a lot of glow involved. Second case. Two magnets are pulled apart, but one of them is inclined to reduced investment of power. As before, it's the same amount of glow, just split up little differently. For both scenarios, the same power is required to pull the magnets apart. As a conclusion, if you are familiar with magnets, you already know what it means to pull two magnets apart from each other, while the opposing poles constantly try to get together again. Even if you tilt them at the beginning, using the help of the laws of leverage to get them a bit apart from each other, it is very difficult to pull them the final way apart. Changing the orientation of the magnetic field does not change its strength. If you watch videos about perpetual motion magnetic motors, be skeptical about the things you got to see. There may be invisible add-ons included. I don't know if there are any, but it seems like the only reasonable explanation. Videos are made from people which are interesting in getting a million clicks on YouTube, which makes them happy. And if you have fun watching their videos, then it's a win-win thing. But real magnetic perpetual motion machines are not shown on YouTube doubtlessly. It's a little sad, but true and not really surprising, isn't it? That's all for now. If you like, click on Wild Wild and check out my channel. Subscribe it if you dare. Thanks a lot for watching. Have fun.